Hi everyone, I'm Rincey and I'm one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. So there are two books that I read last month that really sort of like punched me in the gut <laughs> in the best possible way. And I was like thinking a lot about what it was about these two books that are extremely different that really affected me and I realized it's because of their like extreme vulnerability. So I thought I would share those two books for you guys because I think that when books are written in a way that's very like open and honest and vulnerable about the author's situation, it can be like really impactful for people to read and so you guys might be interested in picking these two books up um, or if you are extremely adverse to vulnerability, maybe avoid these books, I don't know. So the first one for me was Hunger by Roxane Gay and I really really loved and adored this book and one of the reasons why is because of the openness that Roxane Gay has about talking about her life situations, talking about the things that happened in her past and talking about her weight and her struggles with food and her struggles with body image and things like that. I won't say that anything in this book is necessarily like revolutionary when it comes to women and body image and food issues and things like that, but I think that there is a level of honesty here that most people don't express openly and express publicly. Um, I feel like there were a lot of passages in here where Raxan Gay openly expresses thoughts that many people, or at least I should say I have had like in my own head, but I've never said out loud or said to anyone else. So this book is a nonfiction book that's a collection of essays and Raxan Gay talks a lot about her childhood and growing up. She talks about her sexual assault so trigger warning for that and she talks about how that led to her looking at her body in a very specific way it led to her overeating so that way she wouldn't seem like attractive to other people and she talks about how that impacted her throughout the rest of her life and how she has like difficulties figuring out how to treat her body well she recognizes that she is fat and she is overweight and she does need to lose weight in order to be like a healthy person but she also talks about how all of that is tied up with also like societal norms and what women are supposed to look like in all of these different things. Roxane Gay is kind of known for being completely like open and honest in her writing. If you've read Bad Feminist you probably know a little bit about her life already and can see that but I feel like this is sort of like the most open she's been with her audience and I think that the fact that she was expressing these ideas in such a public manner just really really impacted me and had like a major effect in the way that I reacted to this book. Now the other instance of this happening was with a completely different type of book and that was with Turtles All the Way Down by John Green and this is a fiction book. It's young adults. You're following this girl named Aza who has obsessive compulsive disorder. The thing about this book that impacted me so much is that John Green was able to express so clearly the type of obsessive compulsive disorder that he as well as the character Aza has. Um, now obviously I follow John Green on the internet. I like watch his videos on YouTube and you know follow him on Twitter and stuff so I've seen him express to certain degrees his own obsessive compulsive disorder and so I'm kind of like inferring the fact that his disorder is going to be similar to Aza's disorder um, and I think that using a character like Aza to describe what it's like to be like stuck in your whole own head to have these sort of spiraling thoughts that you can't get out of was done just so so well. Um, I think that even some of the insecurities that Aza expresses and her own difficulties with her relationships with other people. It's all done in this way that's extremely vul vulnerable and I just found Aza's odyssey to be so like refreshing and also to be so just impactful and just made me think a lot about my own thoughts and my own sort of relationships and things like that. Not that I have obsessive compulsive disorder or anything along those lines but I think that all of us can struggle with negative thoughts and negative feelings and those sort of spiraling out of control to a certain extent and how that could potentially impact relationships in our lives and things like that. So there's something I think in Aza's honesty and tangentially in John Green's honesty with his disorder that felt so refreshing and freeing and again just impactful on my own reading experience and it just made me think a lot about not even just myself but also just other people who might be reading this book who might not have seen other people express those thoughts and ideas before and may relate to it or may have needed to hear it 
from another person's point of view um, in order to understand maybe themselves or someone in their lives better. So yeah, those are the two books that I wanted to talk about really quickly. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you've experienced this, if there was a book that was extremely open and vulnerable that really impacted you in a specific way. Um, I feel like it happens more often in memoirs than other places, but I think that it can obviously happen in fiction as well. So yeah, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.